I picked up this midget. You know, he's very, very well dressed. Italian suit, good looking, and a beautiful tall blonde. Was it a, a lady midget? No, the guy was a midget. The blonde was the lady. Oh, the, I, I, got I mean, the lady. Yeah. Midgets are funny. <laughs> Sometimes I like to hold a midget. Yeah? I mean, they're funny. They always want to sit in the front seat. Then I pick up these two fags, you know, they're going, they're going downtown. They're wearing these rhinestone t shirts. They start arguing, they start yelling. The other says, You bitch, you always start beating them on the head. I say, Look, I don't care what you do in the privacy of your own home behind closed doors. This is an American free country. We've got a pursuit of happiness thing. You're consenting, you're adult. But, in, you know, uh, you know, in my fucking cab, don't go busting heads, you know what I mean? God love you, do what you want. Tell them to go to California. Because out in California, when two fags split up, one's got to pay the other one alimony. Okay. Not bad. Mm. They're way ahead out there, you know, in California. So I want to get out of the fucking cab. You know, one time I saw a cop chasing this guy with one leg. He was on crutches, you know. And the, the cop? No, no, no. The dude that he was chasing. Fucking cops, they chase anything. Hey, Travis. Hey, you got that five, you owe me? Man is loading, loading. I'd be broke tonight if I hadn't caught me some people from Ohio out of Kennedy. I took them into Manhattan my way along the beach. Tipped me five dollars. What's the action around? Pretty slow. I'm shoving on. Wait, wait. Can I talk to you for a second? Bye, killer. That's why they call me the wizard. I got... It's just that I got a... I got a... Things shut you, you down? Yeah. yeah it happens to the best of them. Yeah, it got me real down, real down. Just want to go out and, and, you know, like, really, really, really do something. Taxi life, you mean? Yeah, well, nah, it's, I don't know. I just want to go out. I really, you know, I really want to, I got some bad ideas in my head. I just, oh, look, look at it this way, you know, uh, man, Man takes a job, you know? And that job, I mean, like that, you know, that becomes what he is. You know, like, uh, you know, you do a thing and that's what you want. I mean, like, I've been a, I've been a cabbie for 17 years, you know? 10 years at night. I still don't own my own cab, you know, why? Because I don't want to. I must be what I, what I want. You know, to be on the night shift, driving somebody else's cab. You understand? Uh, I mean, you, you, you become, you get a job, you, you become the job. I mean, like, one guy lives in Brooklyn, one guy lives in Sutton Place, you get a lawyer, another guy's a doctor. Another guy dies, another guy gets well, and, you know, people are born. I, I envy you, you. Go on, get laid. Get drunk, you know, you do anything. Because you got no choice anyway. I mean, we're all fucked. More or less, you know? Uh, I don't know. That's about the dumbest thing I ever heard. It's not Bertrand Russell, but what do you want? I'm a cabbie, you know? What do I know? I mean, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know either.
Don't worry so much. Relax, Killer. You're going to be all right. I know. I've seen a lot of people, and uh... I know. OK. OK, thanks, man. I'll see you. I guess. Yeah, yeah you know. You're all right. You're all right.